welcome back to Post Time. Kim Vincent is with us now, and Kim is one of those guys who I have had requests to have on the show. So you're Mr. Popularity. Oh, that's good. Yeah, good. absolutely. And before I go any further, this is toward the end of the show. Like, this is, you know, we're in this segment. It's raining out. That's why I have the bad hair day, okay? I just want to put that out because I'm a girly girl and, and I need to get yeah, this thing done. Unfortunately, like that. mine's like this all the time. So. <laughs> Very nice. That's the style. That's all right. You're going <laughs> right. to start a new fad. You there know you what go. I mean? Yeah. All right. I also want to say I apologize to Kim because I had your son on before I had you on, which just does not seem right. That's but, right. You should have had me on first. I know. <laughs> I know. Exactly. But I found out that once you have kids, for those of you who don't know, once you have kids, you like totally lose your identity. Like, aren't you like yeah. Justin and Katie's dad now? That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> Kimmy who? That's right. <laughs> and it'll get worse as I go along, I'm sure. <laughs> right. All right. So we want to talk about like all like the places you've been and you were born in Seaford, but then you raced horses here for a long time, but you didn't stay here. So no. um, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> You were born on a rainy day. <laughs> well, I don't remember that quietly, but yeah, Seaford, Delaware, I, I started racing in Delaware. Got my license at Ocean Downs. Win my first race right here in Harrington. Cool. I'm like 12 and a piece. Now, I train them babies faster than that these days. Right. Uh, and I stayed here for a couple years. And uh, Rosecroft, I went over to Rosecroft and was on the Maryland circuit for 10 or 15 years. And then I, I got a little itch to go west. So uh, I got Arnold. Lloyd Arnold owned a racetrack. He called me and Jimmy Moran and said, hey, why don't you come out for a little while? So he kind of helped us get out there, and I kind of liked it. I stayed there for about seven or eight years. Racing wasn't quite as good in California. It kind of fell off, so I moved to Illinois. And uh, I really liked it there. I was in St. Louis, actually, which uh, was on the, the Illinois side. And I did real well there. I really liked it. The people in the Midwest are just excellent people. And, uh, but not as nice as Delaware. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, no one's as nice as Delaware. Why do you think I'm back here? Exactly. So, I mean, there's so many places. I was, I've been to New York. I've been to uh, Florida. I've been to Pennsylvania. I, was, I spent a spring in the Poconos like the froze to death. It was, cold as, it was almost colder there than it was in Chicago. I was, stayed there for a while. I mean, I've, I've been everywhere. Kentucky. Uh, I never stayed too long in Ohio. I passed through there. Uh, we went to Michigan. Uh, I've been everywhere. Yes, wow. I enjoyed it. He's like Johnny Cash. Yeah. I've been everywhere, man. Just about. <laughs> Just about. Uh, now, you've been back to Delaware, though, what, since 2006? It's been I about can... four years. Okay, all right. Um, so, you must be happy to be back, and this is where you're staying. Right. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah this, is, uh, this is where I'm from, so, you know what this old saying is, there's no place like home, so, That's gotta come exactly home. Right. That's exactly so. right. All right. Wow. He just took us on a whole venture around the United States. I've been everywhere, just yeah. about. <laughs> All right. Now, you've seen the show before. Yes. Even though it's your post-time debut, you, you are one of our great, faithful viewers. Absolutely. Now, so, you know that this isn't really your typical harness racing show, so we don't always ask the typical questions. I do want to mention that I was the hot mama of the week. We said that earlier, but it's always worth another <laughs> mention, okay? Hot mom of the week on hotandhealthymom.com. So I thought I would ask you a couple of the questions that they asked me. Well, here we and go. And I would see sure. <laughs> what, uh, your, what your answers are. Okay, um, what's the top item in your grocery cart? Top item in my grocery cart? Uh, probably cold beer. I like that a lot. Okay. Yep. As opposed to warm beer. That's right, cold. It's gotta be cold. What would we be surprised to find in your purse? <laughs> Well, we'd have to find my purse first. Right? I know, I know. That could be a problem. Okay. <laughs> what are you currently working out to on your iPod? I don't even have an iPod. so. We're... <laughs> well, to make it fair, what do you listen to in the barn when you're working? Uh, country music. Now, what is your secret to staying hot and healthy? <laughs> what is my secret? Man, that's really tough. Um, you know, I got a young wife. That's probably what keeps me uh, healthy, so... Wow, that is so amazing. That was my answer too. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, when you marry somebody younger than you, especially if they're 10 years younger. Well, that's about yeah. right. Oh, awesome. So, we need a high right. five on <laughs> that, right. baby. 
Oh, great. Well, I didn't know we had so much in common. Oh, sure. We're also in Delaware, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thank you very this much. This has been a pleasure. I appreciate you having me. All right, thanks. In our final race of the show, number three, Hoboken Hanover, has been a consistent check getter. The four, to do list, goes behind the gate with Kim Vincent in the bike. And number six, Exotic Toy, shows the fastest time of the year among this group. They're off from the outside. There goes Beaver Creek Grady out for the lead between Horses Sweepstake Jake. Real Shiny's got the rail as they race into the turn. It's Beaver Creek Grady with Sweepstake Jake. Beaver Creek Grady gets in there, second two in front of Real Shiny. They're racing in fourth. That's to do list. Another two lines, Hoboken Hanover, then comes to all sevens, followed by Exotic Toy and Cold Cape Cod. They go by the quarter, Sweepstake Jake and Beaver Creek Grady, 28 and two fifths into the far turn. Out of third, here comes Real Shiny, and Real Shiny is rushing up on the outside to get the lead. Back to second now is Sweepstake Jake, Beaver Creek Grady, back to third. In fourth, that's To Do List. Moving to the outside, Hoboken Hanover and To Do List. As they come over toward the half, Real Shiny leads it. Sweepstake Jake in second. On the outside into third comes To Do List with the rail, Beaver Creek Grady. Falling outside, Hoboken Hanover fifth. Then comes All Sevens, Exotic Toy, and down inside, Cold Cape Cod. 58 and three fifths around the turn. Real Shiny's got the lead. Sweepstake Jake, To Do List on the outside, backs away just a bit. Down at the rail, Beaver Creek Grady having to go three wide will be Hoboken Hanover as they move up the back stretch. Real shiny. Here comes the three wide move from Hoboken Hanover and still coming is to do list as they approach three quarters. To do list now on the outside gets a short lead from Real Shiny. Back second over is Hoboken Hanover with the rail. That sweepstake Jake, 128 and two fifths around the final turn. To do list. On the outside, real shiny with the rail, circling up three wide, exotic toy between horses, Hoboken, Hanover, sweepstake, Jake, loose down the inside, coming through the stretch, it's to-do list with exotic toy on the outside, to-do list is in front, exotic toy, Hoboken, Hanover, 157 and 2. I wish I would have put betting to-do list on my to-do list because the four-year-old son of Western Ideal paid $87.80 to win with Kim Vincent driving. To-do list winning in 157 and 2 is owned by Robert Clayton and trained by Phil Goldwater. Second was Exotic Toy and third went to Hoboken Hanover. Thanks so much for spending the past half an hour with me and make it a point to get to Harrington Raceway this week. We've got five nights of fantastic standard bread action for you. Sunday through Thursday, the first race post times at 5.30 p.m. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you at the track. God bless.